Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. Last time we finished up all of our stuff that we had to do here in Snuffleheim, and uh, we also rescued Mia, who's Eric's sister, and apparently the golden boulder that was blocking the path to the snare felt is gone. So now we need to head on over to uh, Arborea. Okay, let's see. First things first, let's get a horse. Yeah, hopefully we can find our missing party members in Arborea. I've been looking for them, especially Veronica, for quite some time now. Yikes. Yeah, let's just avoid all these losers. These enemies, they're so easy. Why even bother? Also, I kind of feel like we've seen these enemies before. At least I know we have seen the troll enemies before. Um, some of these other ones, maybe not so much, but I feel like we've seen them, or they're the original versions at least, and these vicious things, they're just more powerful versions. And I just kill them all the same way anyway. Looks like there's a quest in here. Hey there. Oh. Oh, okay, the killing machines, yeah. A red, blood red robot? The type G.O. Huh. Oh, well that's good. Oh, what happened? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so you want revenge! Sweet, sweet revenge! Sure, that's fine. Ooh, metal slime armor, seriously? Wow. Okay, so yeah, they're basically rare spawns, and you have to fight the killer machines, and then eventually those geos will appear as well. And they're near the Frozen Fjord. Okay. Gotcha. Well, that seems easy enough. Um, there's also another quest that we need to do out here. Um, some guy was looking for, I don't know, something? I think it was like a Frozen Rose or something like that in order to give to Crystalinda because he wants to marry her. And then she was like, you know, you need to prove your bravery, all that kind of stuff. So there's something that we need to go down here and grab um, by like a crescent-shaped peninsula. So let's see, that would be over here. Yikes! Yeah, just keep on going through here. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to go? I need to go up. Here we are, there we are. Okay, perfect. Yeah, if you look, this is kind of crescent moon shaped, and hey, what do we have here? Get over here. Oh, the snare rose. That was close enough. Okay, so, yeah, we need to uh, take that back to the guy. Uh, what I want to do is go to this campsite, though, so I can add it to my zoom list, and then I'll just be able to zoom right back here after I, um, after I, um, you know, turn in that snare rose. So, I'm going to camp here, and then meet you back in Snuffleheim. I'm here back in town at the tavern, so we can go ahead and turn in this quest. And this guy can marry Crystalinda for whatever reason. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. What's that? Unseasoned? Oh. Okay. Either that or it's saying that, you know, Crystalinda is an ice witch and she wants you to find some icy flower to show that her heart is full of ice as well and she will never, ever love you no matter what. Or this guy could just be dumb as a brick. Oh, you know, that works too. Ooh! Wow! That's some nice stuff. I'm gonna have to spend some time, um... At the, uh, campfire, making some of this, uh, stuff and forging stuff. At least before the next boss, because, um... Yeah, I accidentally encountered the next boss, just kind of fooling around in the snare felt. And that guy is hard! Well, anyway, let's head on back to the uh, campsite here. 
And before I go anywhere near where this next boss is that I was talking about, we need to uh, do this killer machine quest. And the killer machines, they appear here. And uh, they also are going to appear over here. Yeah, there used to be a dragon there, but it's gone. But there are killer machines, so let's go ahead and uh, get this show on the road. We just gotta encounter them until we encounter that G.O. Well, that didn't take long. It was only the uh, second one that I encountered. And yeah, here we have it. Let's see if we can't confuse them, though. That might be nice. Oh, great. Probably because they're machines. And yeah, confusion wouldn't work against a machine because they don't exactly have brains. But, eh. I can't blame a boy for trying, I guess. Yikes! They do seem to like to focus on one character. The last battle, they focused pretty much all their attacks on Jade. Now it looks like they're focusing it on the hero, so yeah. But let's go ahead and go after this killing machine first, then we'll go after the type Go, Geo, G0, whatever it is that you want to call it. Yikes. He's actually not too bad, I've gotta say. Like, I fought worse enemies. He really doesn't seem that hard. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and oop you up. And like killing machines have always been ever since they were introduced in Dragon Warrior 2, they get multiple attacks per turn, dealing tons of damage, um, and they are one of the hardest enemies in the game. They always have been. So, I mean, it's not like I didn't realize what, what I was getting myself into whenever I was fighting these guys. Uh, ooh, wow. We got like two turns in a row almost. Awesome. Woohoo! And we got him down. Whoa, look at that experience. Ooh. Sweet. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to meet you there. Hey there, big guy. Are ya? Well, what is it? Oh. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, and then you might kill yourself casting Medio, and we don't want that. Oh. Okay. Sweet! More than likely the best armor in the game! If the past games are anything to go by, but we still have quite a ways to go in this game, so... I don't know. Let's see, he had the spiked armor, what do I want? The metal slime armor. Oh, ooh, attacks against all elements. Wow, that's very, very nice. Um, yeah, it's gonna take him out of his costume, but I think it's time to upgrade him. Yeah, the extra defense. Oh, the charm goes down, but I don't really care about charm. I really don't. I need the defense, and I need that extra elemental um, protection as well. Okay, so let's see. Let's head on down now back to the campsite. I made it back here, and I also did some forging, so I want to go ahead and change my equipment up. I went and I made four papillion masks, because this provides 100% protection against paralysis, and I want to equip that on all of my party members right now. Um, it is imperative that you have some sort of protection against paralysis, whether it be the papillion masks, or you can also make the full moon rings. But the problem is with this, is it only reduces the chance of getting per, uh, paralyzed by 50%, so I would much rather have um, the papillion masks right here. Uh, let's see, so I made those. Oh, I also went ahead and I made a twinkling tuxedo, which is very nice. Look at the defense boost that it gives to Sylvando there. And it also has a 20% chance of reflecting incoming spells, so that's very nice. Um, and similar to that, I went ahead and I made a shimmering dress for um, Jade. 
which does the same thing. So yeah, that's my setup. I put Hendrik into my party. I took Rab out of my party uh, because we're going to need a tank for this upcoming battle here. It's really, really rough. Um, maybe it won't be so rough since I'm not going to get paralyzed, but the first time I played against this guy, I died a horrible death. So save, use the inn, be prepared. Something is not right here. Be on your guard. <gasps> Behind me! Fjord. But now I am released. Alas, my lengthy imprisonment has slowly depleted my powers. If the skies above Sniffleheim are to once more dance with fire, then first I must feast. You shall have the honor of being the auroral serpent's Saba. The boss time against the auroral serpent himself. This guy, like I said, is rough. You want to go all out against him as fast as humanly possible, but also keep up your defenses too, because you're gonna need it. He can paralyze your entire party. He can knock your entire party down. He can um, cast dark magic against you. He can deal physical damage to all of your party members and a ton of physical damage to one party member. Because of that, use Kabuff. It is imperative. Yeah, look at that damage that he's dealing right there. It's it's just bad. It's really, really bad. And I was going to think about using Rab, so then I would have two healers. I would have Silvando and Rab as healers. But honestly, I think that I need the buffing and the tanking abilities of Hendrik um, in order to really make it through here alive. Once Silvando gets the buffs on David and Jade, then I'm pretty much just going to have him on healing duty for the rest of the battle. Yeah, that burning breath, that's what paralyzes you, and thankfully, we aren't getting paralyzed, so that's very, very nice. Um, I could use Magic Barrier, but uh, first things first, I want to, let's see, where is it? Is it Scrap Metal? Or is it Helm Splitter? I think it's Scrap Metal that can lower the defense even more, so I want to use that one. Woohoo! We got it! Okay, now that they're buffed, I have his defense lowered. I can deal tons of damage and hopefully kill him before he kills me. That's really the goal here without grinding, like, exponentially or anything like that. Okay, perfect. Okay, we seem to be doing very, very well, actually. Let's go ahead and put up a magic barrier, just in case. Yeah, because of something like that. And this! Ugh. I'm, I, these attacks would be dealing double damage to me right now if I didn't have a kabuff on or a magic barrier on. If you have Rab in your party, you can also use um, Insulatl, which will protect it against, um, what is it? Breath attacks, and he does use a lot of breath attacks as well. Um, you can also use Dazzle, and you'll be able to blind him. So that could be a way to do it. Lovely. But the thing is, is that, yeah, he does that too. Um, 
a lot of his attack, I mean, he has physical attacks, but the majority of his attacks aren't physical. The majority of his attacks that really, that really make this boss battle so hard is knocking you down, losing your turn, Score and paralyzing guys. you. If you can get protection against Paralyze, you have this battle in the bag. Fabulous, darling. You are strong, just like the detestable luminary, the one who sealed me away all oh, those years ago. But where Adwin succeeded, you shall succumb! everyone I'll have you back on your feet in no time who are... no way bold luminary Idrisil's chosen long have I waited to greet you we of Arborea swear to protect you while we live, none shall defeat you. It's ever so nice to see you all again. Serena, it's really you. Thanks for helping us out there. Where did you spring from, and where have you been? I've been trying to make my way back to Arborea ever since that awful day. But I got rather sidetracked seeing to those who needed my help. When I heard that the golden iceberg blocking Sniffelheim Harbor had melted away, I decided to try and make my way home from there. I never thought I'd meet you on the way. You're heading to Arborea, eh? We're on our way there ourselves. Reckoned you keepers would be the best folk to ask about a certain sacred flying contraption. A flying contraption? Well, I've never heard of such a thing, but I'm sure Father Benedictus will know something about it. It's so wonderful to see you all again. Would you mind awfully if I tagged along with you? Follow the path up the mountain, we'll be in Arborea in no time. Well then, shall we? We shall, now that we have Serena and more party members. Let's just, uh, head on. Ooh, I am so happy that we finally got Serena back in our party. I'm 
really surprised, though, that Veronica wasn't with her. You know, you would think that she would be there, but... Yikes! Yikes! I guess not! Oh, I don't want to fight any of you! But we have to fight this guy, because we got that jumping thing again. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's see. If I recall, we have to go up here. There we are. I don't think that there's any new treasures around here. Um, although, whoa! Uh-oh. Yikes! One of this Colossus statues! They were introduced first in Dragon Warrior 3. Yikes! And I don't really feel like dealing with them right now. And honestly, I think that we've... We've fought them before, I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive we did. Oh well. Okay, so moving right along. Perfect. Yikes! Oh, oh man, these guys, they, they keep on... Whoa! They're like threatening to kick me off the ledge. Uh, well, we'll fight them again. Whatever, this is probably the upgraded cousin anyway. Like those vicious eggs, so skeletons, they were the upgraded cousin as well. But they didn't really do anything all that different. They did the same stuff, just hit harder. There was also an Elysium bird in that last battle as well. It could breathe fire, so that's about a new thing there, but whatever. Oh, another nice thing about these armors that I got, the twinkling tuxedo and the shimmering dress, they can reflect, reflect breath attacks as well, not just, um, not just magical spells, because I actually went and I reflected that Elysium Bird's uh, breath attack against it, so that's pretty cool. This is awful. It was so beautiful here before. <laughs> Our poor little angels. Veronica, Serena, please come back. We'll do anything. Fidelis, Alma, you must not lose hope. Veronica and Serena are the heirs to the power of that most holy of sages. As long as they are together, there is nothing that can... Oh. <laughs> Serena? Is it really you? Mother? Father? You're alive! Oh, Serena, my little angel. I never thought I'd see you again. Serena, my child, have you come back to us alone? What of Veronica? She's not here. But I thought she must have made her way home already. She's certainly somewhere nearby. I can sense it. Somewhere north of here. You can really tell where she is? It's her. I know it is. We have to go and find her. But where can Veronica be? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.